All right, so we were originally going to have these TVs recycled, but then we thought before we recycled them, why don't we recycle them gizmo slip style? <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so these were the TVs right here that we shot the world's most powerful crossbow into, and it went through four of them. Uh, pretty awesome. Today we're going to find out how many a grenade launcher and an MP5 can go through. I predict all of them. All of them. I predict two for the grenade launcher. I think maybe just one for grenade launcher. Yeah. He thinks one, two. Uh, for grenade launcher, I'm saying probably like, it might go through to the second. And when it's not going to go through two, but it might go through to the second. Who knows, right? It's, it's a pretty powerful impact in grenade launcher. But then we also have the MP5. So how many will one bullet go through with an MP5, which is basically a nine millimeter handgun round? So. Holes in the top right. Let's hear your opinion. See what you think. Let's go ahead and get these set up and knock them down. Yeah, buddy. Woo. Here we go. Come on. I'm gonna just pick up on that arrow. <laughs> I like that handle you'll put in there. Yeah, I know, right? Convenient. I should install these on all TVs. <laughs> so we'll need to pull that arrow out somehow. Good luck. It's like a sword of stone. I know. Here, if you, you made, just made a second hole. <laughs> I'm trying to move these guys. There we go. There you go. Dang. <laughs> that is crazy. World's most powerful crossbow, guys. Crazy. All right, now these are 4K TVs, just to be clear. They're the cheapest. 4K TVs you can buy. <laughs> but they are 4K TVs. <laughs> but Wait a second, you mean you gave me a cheap TV? <laughs> <laughs> I'm shipping it to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> now it is it is a nice TV, but it is one of the cheaper ones you can get. But but yeah, it is a 4K TV, just to be clear. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> That's alright, it is free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was better than one, one than the one you had. So yeah, my 1989 Zenith. So here's the cool thing I can tell you with the grenade launcher. I really believe it's only going to get through this first because of what it did with that, the way it bent it. It's just so big and slow. Mm -hmm. But for the nine millimeter, I really, it's going to go through. And I shot a, a house up one time, and and we shot through glass with everything from a 50 cal machine gun to 30 cal, all this stuff, right? And on the drywall in the first room, all the bullets were hitting like this. They were tumbling and they were starting to spread out. The drywall in the next room, they were spread out even further and still tumbling. We didn't get it, but can you imagine how cool it would be to have a slow-mo camera where you could see here, right? So you could see the bullets coming in straight, they're spiraling from the rifling, they hit, now they start tumbling and spreading out and popping in different directions. And when it goes to full auto, that's gonna get crazy in there. Right, right, yeah, it's gonna be really awesome. And I bet, I bet each time too, it's gonna get slower, so you'll see like the last TVs that it goes through, like with like more detail. Darren's getting his phantom ready. And then uh, you ready? Yes, sir. DJ is ready. 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 We are ready to go. Let's lock and load this. There it goes. Boom. Tell me when y'all are ready. We're good? Good. Okay, in three, two, one. <laughs> Dominoes, knock them down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, man, that sucker went right in the center. Whatever pain them ants that was worth, because it almost went dead center. <laughs> Let's see if that went through. Does not look like it went through. No. Nope, just one TV. It didn't even go through the first TV. <laughs> that's some kinetic. Dang! It had some kinetic energy though, because man, when it hit, it that first one absorbed it all and it just laid them over like dominoes. Boom, 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 boom. Didn't get much of an explosion of powder on the outside. It happened after it went through that screen. So whatever kind of gizmos are in there are all dusted. Actually, if you look right there, you can see the tail of that zinc pusher. There it goes. Oh, oh boom. <laughs> that TV just gets flexible, man. It's yeah. Like paper. It did. It flexed like crazy. It took all that energy. Yes, just, it did. Just absorbed it all. 
what kind of so, what kind of dirty joke do you have running around in your mind right now? I'm just trying to think of turning that into a, that's what she said somehow. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to say nothing. I'm pure. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at the second phantom clip as well. Right up in there. Wow, it's going in so slow. Oh. Oh. That looked like a puddle of water. Yeah, like, that really is a matrix looking thing. It is, it is. That's have you so seen sick. the matrix? Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, there's. You did? I saw one. Yeah! yeah. Sweet. Ah, a high pop five. A yes. pop culture something that Matt sees. This is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Back to the panel clip now. <laughs> <laughs> Just puffing a little bit of that orange smoke. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Boom, boom, and boom. Down <laughs> they go. So are you ready to try this MP5 on it? <laughs> yes, sir. I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Let's set these TVs back up. So we're gonna do one round with the MP5 first just to see how many TVs a single nine millimeter round can go through. And then we're gonna let them open it up, full auto, freaking awesome. Here we go. Okay, let's check it out. We got one TV, two TVs. Three TVs, all four TVs. Wait, did it exit the fourth? I don't see a. I don't see an exit. Uh -uh. We've got the entrance right here. Yeah, and it's not perfectly round. And a little bit of a bulge right here. You can you can feel it. It stopped right there. Uh, <laughs> so we found the answer. It's precisely four TVs. That's we actually had just the right number again. Yeah, so everybody needs four TVs in their house to worry about drive-bys. <laughs> Go boom! Yeah, you see the little rip ripple yeah, oh, impact. Yeah, you see it blasting out the back. Yeah. Now I wonder what it looks like on the higher frame rate Phantom. Ooh. That's like jiggling cellulite. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. You can see the whole trail. <laughs> okay. <laughs> jiggling cellulite queefs. Who dang? What, what is happening today? Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Doosh, 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 oh, doosh. Wow. That's cool. <laughs> tight. That's really tight. This is going to look way cool when we get all 30 bullets in there. Oh, yeah. Dang. I, I think it's impressive that the bow and arrow went through as many TVs as the bullet. Uh, as a 9mm bullet. Yeah, that is really impressive. <laughs> That's actually really crazy. Exactly the same, too. Through three and penetrates the fourth, doesn't go through the fourth. Exactly. That is, that's impressive. <laughs> You're doing real really science cool. here. And people yeah. need to know this stuff. They need to know this. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> like how many TVs do you need to be wearing to protect yourself from a bullet? <laughs> TV cool. body armor. Yes. Gizmo slip. Look for it in the merch store. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the full auto dump. We'll see how long it takes to, to empty this entire magazine. Yep. We are ready to make this happen. Here we go. Dang, it's just, oh yeah. They're just coming in so fast. Look, you can see one of the bullets right there. Oh yeah, wow, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, there's multiple ones. Oh yeah, they're flying everywhere. MP5 spits it out pretty quick. Oh yeah, wow. Kind of brutal. Yeah, I'm just kind of jumping around in the clip here. <laughs> but it's just got bullet fragments flying above the TVs, going around to the right, hitting the screens. That is awesome. All right, so here we go. You guys see that? Yeah. I'm so ready for this. My body is ready for it. My brain, it's all ready. Boom, first shot. Oh, man. I love the, the exit wound there, yeah. like the expulsion of pieces. Yeah. This camera is so fast, it makes the MP5 look slow. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I mean, it's, it's definitely, you see some detail in between each shot. It's oh, crazy because yeah. it gets, it gets like smoky the more you see. So I'll speed it up a little bit here. Oh wow, yeah. Look at it just chewing it. It's a good thing that orange powder was in there. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Look at all that carnage back there, man. Yeah. It's some craziness. It's flopping around like a grocery bag, really. I'm, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> 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 oh man. So what Matt was pointing out is that this initial TV, there's a very tight grouping. But as the bullets go through, 
their trajectory is going to get thrown off. Right, Matt? Yeah, right. And so as they go through, they kind of slide left and right and up and down, and they lose force and impact, and they start spiraling kind of, rather than going straight forward, they kind of spiral and spin off to the sides. You can see all the way to the first TV. How you doing over there? Move your head real quick. Look how the bullets hit the inner workings of this one and ripped it apart and threw them into that. I mean, that stuff is impaled in there. Right, like, look at this. <laughs> Dude. So, if the drive-by dude has an MP5 that can put round after round of the same hole, you're going to need more than four TVs to be safe. This could be problematic. Yeah. I might have to come back at this another time with like 10 TVs. Or to <laughs> shoot back. That helps too. Spoken like a true redneck. Yeah. Do I get to hold the grenade launcher? Yeah, man. Sweet. <laughs> 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 All right. I'm just enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well that was awesome. A freaking grenade launcher followed by fully automatic MP5. Turned out really well. So tell us a little bit about what you do out here. If the audience hasn't figured it out by now. <laughs> well, we had a lot of fun. Uh, we do corporate entertainment, Benetti Explosives. Look us up. If you want to come out and shoot some machine guns, blow stuff up and uh, launch a grenade launcher and see who in the office is best with it. Give me a call. We'll set you up and we'll have a blast. <laughs> His stuff is so much fun. Definitely check him out. And then we also have Darren Dyke from Beyond Slow Motion. Go check out his channel. Yeah, I do slow motion, ultra slow motion with a lot of amazing people. Cool phantom cameras. It's a good time. If you want to check it out, links below. There you go. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Brandon Baldwin now. Woo! Oh! <laughs> it's like a freaking, it's like someone jumping into a, a pool.